All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to start working on our content plan at the top of the funnel. So if you are able to say that, you know, whatever, you know, in your business or with your employer or with your clients or whatever, you are responsible for the top of the funnel. So you are responsible for moving someone from awareness into evaluation, you're going to want to tick this box here. And you're going to want to take a look and say, okay, what are the goals that I am looking to achieve at the top of the funnel? You know, what is my boss expecting me to do? What, is, what am I as a business owner looking for my content marketing to do for me and my business? What are my clients looking for? Are they looking for more offer awareness? Are they looking for for retargeting? You know, maybe retargeting is just not something you're ready to take on, or or it's not something that that you're able to do. Um, so you would want to leave that one unchecked. Um, but check off the top of funnel goals that you are going to be uh, attacking with your content strategy, so that you know you're starting to to um, build this plan and you're able to save, you know, these worksheets, um, you know, you'll just save them just like any, uh, any other, uh, you know, PDF file. Uh, all these worksheets are writable and you can write right in them or check boxes and things like that, uh, using Adobe reader. So, uh, or, or most PDF readers. Uh, so we're going to start out by, you know, looking at our tofu content plan. So if you're responsible for top of funnel stuff, you're going to click, you know, that box and then you're going to pick the goals that you are interested in. Then we're going to move on and we're going to look at the content types. Okay. So let's move on to our content types worksheet and take a look at uh, the content types at the top of the funnel. So what are the type of content types uh, when you are building out your content plan that you are going to be using? Are you going to use a blog? All right. Are you going to use social media updates? All right. Those are, those are pretty universal, right? There's not a lot of companies out there that, that can afford to either not have a blog or social media, but the rest of these, you know, you start to get into, you know, what do you want to do? You know, what are your strengths? What, um, what kinds of things does your organization, you know, have the ability to do, or you have the ability to do? Are you great with audio? Are you great with video? Do you have the ability to do audio podcasts? If so, select that, you know, do you want to try a microsite strategy? And if so, select that, um, are you, are you seeing opportunities for primary research at your company. Remember, all of these types of content can be used to, to achieve your goals that you set out uh, to achieve in, in the first uh, part of these, this worksheet where you selected your goals. You know, if you really want to um, increase uh, website traffic, you know, what are you going to use as a content type, what are you going to commit to using as a content type? Go ahead and fill those out. Now at the bottom of this sheet is all of our technology needs that we covered in the first uh, lesson where we talked about technology. And we will fill this out last because it will depend on what, you know, what are the different types of content types that you're going to select as to what your technology needs are going to be. So if you don't select audio, you know, then maybe, you know, and you don't select, um, you know, that you're, you don't, you decide you're not going to do uh, webinars, for example, or screen screencasts or things like that, then, then you don't need screencasting software. You don't need a microphone. Um, you know, you don't need all these things. So, you know, you need to decide, you know, it, it will be the types of content that you decide to, to use, uh, that will dictate the technology that you need to invest in as a, as an organization, uh, or for your client work or, or for your business. So, you know, if you're going to do infographics, you're going to do photographs, you might, you might need to, um, get image editing software, for example. All right. Uh, now, so select your content types at the top of the funnel. And then the last thing that we are going to, to look at 
are the metrics that you are going to commit to measuring at the top of the funnel. All right, so you're going to look at uh, your tofu metrics, your top of funnel metrics. Are you going to measure offer awareness? All right, are you going to measure retargeting list growth? All right, are you going to measure inbound links, traffic by channel? Okay, you need to go ahead and select those now and uh, keep the ones unselected that you don't think are important to you, your client, or your boss, or whoever you're doing this work for, uh, whether it's your company or client or, or an organization that you work for. All right, so this is the beginning of your content marketing plan to set up your goals, content types, and metrics for the top of the funnel. And with that, let's move on to the next step.